Hello again. It's another week and I know I need a shave and a haircut, but still, it's another word with Dave. And today, the scripture comes from Romans chapter 12, verse 16 to 18. Romans 12, 16 to 18. And it says, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. The word of the Lord. And today my topic is be of one mind. Be of one mind. In the world today, there are many different kinds of people. Um, and if we want to zoom in more on the church, there are many different denominations and many different belief systems out there. And Paul here, when he was speaking to the Romans at that time, they were all kind of different people. They were the Jewish Christians, they were the Gentile Christians, they were Greeks, they were all kind of different people. And especially the Jews, the Jewish Christians, it was difficult for them to break away from the tradition that, you know, the Gentiles, you're not supposed to mix with the Gentiles. And everybody have their own way of thinking. So Paul was trying to tell them here, especially if you see verse 16, live in harmony with one another. Another version says, be of one mind. Now, especially like in my country, Jamaica, there are so many churches, uh, all kind of different denominations and all kind of different traditions going on there and you'll have for example this is just an example yeah for example one church don't want to associate with another church because they don't have the same kind of system they don't have the same kind of belief system or one church focus too much on one thing while another church focusing too much on another thing and you have all kind of people and all kind of different mindset but if you think about it no two people have the same <laughs> have the same kind of thought process you know no two people whether you go to the same church you you work at the same place no two people have exactly the same kind of thinking so paul was telling the people in rome that they need to get along so hey if you are a believer and you go to another church, you're a believer, you believe in Christ. Be of one mind. So that's, that's what so that's what Paul was trying to say. Be of one mind. You're a Pentecostal, you're a Baptist, you're a Seventh-day Adventist, you're a Roman Catholic, you're an Anglican, you're a Methodist, it doesn't matter. Be of one mind. Amen.